Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build an AI assistant that can do human handoffs. It's quite common when building assistants or chatbots that you want to connect the user to either a human operator or redirect them to some other resource where they could find additional information. In this screen you can see an example of that. Here's a pizza ordering bot that basically um, has an issue with an order and can take care of that using the set of functions that it has access to. So what we want to do here is to basically, you know, be able to trigger a action so that the user can connect to a human and continue the discussion there. That's totally possible using SuperAgent, and I have created, as always, a, a replit template for visualizing and showcasing how that functionality works. So, as always, when we uh, use SuperAgent, I'm using the JavaScript SDK. We need to install that, of course, and we do that by running npmi superagent ai-js we import the client and then we set up our client using a super agent api key the api key can be found when signing up for super agent under your user account um, so you can just copy that and paste that into your environment variables and then point the environment either to the super agent cloud or your own hosted version of super agent that runs on your own infrastructure for this demonstration, I have actually created an agent already. So the agent basically has access to a new tool type that we call human handoff. I'm going to show you how that looks as well. Um, so basically the code in itself is super simple. It's a recursive uh, function that I'm running just to be able to showcase everything in the right hand side in the console later on. But the the code that is actually necessary to run SuperAgent is only this part. So what we are doing here is that we are invoking an agent. Uh, let me just expand this a bit. There we go. So basically we are invoking an agent with the agent ID that I pasted up in here. And we are passing the input from the console to that agent and we are adding a session to it. And what we are doing is that we are looking for the output and also the intermediate steps of that output. And in those intermediate steps, you will be able to see uh, what tools have been called and for what reason. Uh, we take that data and we pass it to a function that I've created called check for human handoff. And basically it iterates through that uh, data and checks for a tool that is human handoff and then returns true, otherwise false. So it's just a basic checker. Uh, and we can actually, uh, you know, uh, have that function here. If that's truth, truthful, we can run any type of function we want locally. So it could be a function that triggers a, a phone call, email. It could be whatever function that you want to write in your app. So basically a local function inside of your application. In my case, it's just a console log, but it could be anything. So let's go ahead and run this and try it out. So we have the human here. Let's say hi. Okay, great. So what does the sums backpack weigh? And this is should be data that the assistant doesn't have access to. So it should prompt us with uh, if we want to connect to a human operator, which it does. I'm sorry, I couldn't find the weight of the sums backpack. Would you like me to connect you with the human operator? who might be able to assist you further. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's do yes. Now it should actually trigger the human handoff, which it did. So the human handoff detected run a local function. Perfect. So 
this code actually got triggered when it should, when it was supposed to, and we now have human handoffs or what we would call it human in the loop uh, for our AI assistant. Super useful if you want to do stuff outside of the language model. Uh, just to quickly show you how to set up the um, tool, you can just go to your super agent account and go to APIs. And from there, you just press new API and you can call this like human handoff useful for when the user wants to be connected to a human. And then we have the human handoff type here that we said. That's it. So you just press create and attach that to your agent or assistant and you're good to go. Amazing. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Bye.